Good afternoon everyone my name is Dolce Sharma I am working as a clinical instructor in RPI IIT college today we will discuss about the topic nasogastric tube insertion a tube that is passed through the nose and down through the nasopharynx and esophagus into the stomach it can be used to remove the contents of the stomach including air to decompress the stomach or to remove small solid objects and fluids such as poison from the stomach Nasogastric tube NG insertion is most commonly used for patients who have neck or facial injuries have had neck or facial surgery need mechanical ventilator to breathe have an intestinal obstruction or blockage types of tubes short tubes pass through the nose into the stomach range in size from 14 to 18 french single lumen made of plastic or rubber with holes near the tip medium tubes tubes are passed through the nose to the duodenum and jejunum long tube passed through the nose through the esophagus and stomach into the intestines used for decompression of the intestines indications for gi intubation to decompress the stomach and remove gas and fluid to lavage the stomach and remove ingested toxins to diagnose disorder of gi motility and other disorders to administer medications and feedings to treat an obstruction to compress a bleeding site to aspirate gastric content for analysis insertion of an ng tube assessment who needs an ng surgical clients ventilated client neuromuscular impairment clients who are unable to maintain adequate oral intake to meet metabolic needs assess patiency for nas assess client medical history nose bleeds nasal surgery deviated septum anticoagulation therapy assess client gag reflex assess client's mental status assess bowel sign planning gather equipment 14 to 16 french ng tube lubricating jelly flashlight mss basin catheter tipped syringe 50 ml syringe bowel with water and stethoscope explain procedure to client position the client in a sitting or how if faulus position examine feeding tube for flaws determine the length of tube to be inserted measure distance from the tip of the nose to the ear lobe and to the cephoid process of the sternum prepare ng tube for insertion risk for nasogastric insertion ng tube feeding can also potentially cause abdominal cramping abdominal swelling diarrhea nausea vomiting regurgitation of food or medicine measurements ab kaan se uh, nose ke tip tak nose ke tip se kaan tak then cephy uh, cephoid process tak implementation wash hands put on clean gloves lubricate the tube hand the client a glass of water gently insert tube through nostrils to back of throat aim back and down toward the ear have client flex head towards chest after tube has been passed through nasopharynx emphasize the need to mouth breath and swallow during the procedure swallowing facilitates the passage of the tube through the oropharynx advance tube each time client swallows until desired length has been reached do not force tube check placement of the tube x-ray confirmation aspiration ng tube insertion ng tube position evaluation observe client to determine response to procedure alerts persistent gagging prolonged intubation and stimulation of the gag reflex can result in vomiting and aspiration coughing may indicate presence of tube in the airway note location of external site marking on the tube documentation size of the tube which nostrils and clients response record length of tube from the nostrils to end of tube responsibilities identify signs and symptoms of inadvertent respiratory migration identify condition that increase the risk for spontaneous tube dislocation from the intended position retching vomiting nasotracheal suctioning severe coughing enteral nutrition